I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK and welcome to my channel. It's an awareness raising channel and I give my opinion on it. It's not necessarily fact, so you can always check um, the sources. I always put the links below so you can see where I got my information from. So, um, yes, so today, oh, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. You can always put the thumbs up, you can always put the thumbs down and you can always share it. Um, but today is about the ULEZ, and this applies to people in the UK, so they'll know what that is. That's the Ultra Emission Zone. Um, ultra Emission, L U L Ultra, Ultra Low Emission Zone. Okay, they had LEZ before, which was Low Emission Zone, and now they've got Ultra Low Emission Zone, which was meant to be coming out next year I thought well it's coming up next year in the wider part of London but it's already in force in greater London in the same area as the congestion charge and apparently if you look at a video before below there's these guys who are trying to get out of the ULEZ zone and they cannot one guy has gone through it three times so there's no signage, but you have to watch that video because 200,000, that's not 20,000, 200,000 penalty notices have been given out to unpaid um, people who, own, who owe fines because of ULEZ. That's why I'm doing this video. I'm not quite sure if you're one of them. If you are, please let us have your experience. Put your uh, comments down below. But this is no, this is not fun. This is not fun at all. Apparently, they're supposed to have made 40 million already. It's not funny. So on top of the congestion charge, you're paying 12.50 a day for the ULEZ and that is because your car is below a certain registration. I think for diesels from recollection now, I didn't look it up again. Um, I, ha I have put a video also below that I did before. That's gonna have more detail because it was fresh in my mind and it's going to have the year of the vehicles and all the criteria. So you can click on that link below because I, I just don't see no point in repeating myself if I've done a video before. Maybe you just missed it. But it's really important now, especially if you're in Greater London. You could very well have fallen prey to one of these ULEZ cameras. I'm just going to read a little bit out of this um, paper. Uh, it was motor1.com, um, the source that the link is also below. Um, and it says more than 200,000 penalty charge notices have been issued for non-payment of the London ultra low emission zone charges since the scheme was introduced in April this year, that's 2019. The ultra low emission zone or ULEZ operates in the same area as a congestion charge but is run separately. Under the rules of the ULEZ, diesel cars that fail to meet the Euro 6 emission standards and petrol powered cars that fail to meet the Euro 4 emissions will be charged. Failure to pay the charges will result in a fine which is issued in the form of a penalty charge notice. Now I think from recollection if your diesel car is below 2005 I don't even want to I don't even want to try and recollect it um, just look at my video below but that covers a lot of cars what they're trying to encourage is diesel over um, 2016 and I think as far as petrol is concerned, it can be older than 2009 or something. Anyway, um, like I said, look at the video. Or you can put your, um, you can actually, they, on the Gov website, if you put ULEZ, it actually comes up with a bar. You put your um, registration number in it and it will tell you whether or not your car is subject to ULEZ. Now remember that ULEZ is only applicable now for Greater London. 
but after April 2020, it's going to go all over London. So don't be deceived because otherwise you're going to think, oh yeah, my car's okay. And then only to find in the new year when you start driving around in, say, Stanmore. I don't think Stanmore. Wembley. I know Wembley's not in it. But when you start, um, say, going in Hampstead or um, Golders Green or wherever, Tottenham, Brixton, you find yourself with um, penalty notices because the system told you today that your car isn't in the ULEZ zone. So just make sure you check it again and just look, read up on it. There's stacks of videos about the ULEZ. I've made it simple in the one below, but you know, there's more than enough videos out there about it. So you don't want to get one of these penalty notices. Honestly, there's one guy, I'm going to come to it in a minute. He had 81 penalty notices. I don't think he could have known about it. You know, because some people, they don't live at the address where they say, you know, where the penalty notices go. Some people, they're out of the country. You don't know why. 81 he's got within April 2019 and when this article came out, which was the 31st, which was yesterday. Okay, car, motorcycle and van drivers who fail to pay the daily charge of 1250 will face a £160 fine, although th that can be reduced to £80 if it is paid within a fortnight. HGV and coach drivers, meanwhile, have to pay a higher, higher daily charge of £100. No wonder they've made up so much bloody money. A hundred daily charge for lorries, HGV and coach drivers to go through the ULEZ. Hunt or face a thousand pound fine. Again, though this can be halved to 500 if it's paid within 14 days. Ultra low emission zone, ULEZ warning signs in London. So... At the moment, you won't see the ULEZ. You'll see the big C, the red C, which is for congestion. But if you're going through the congestion chart, you know you're also simultaneously in the ULEZ. So not only are you paying the congestion fine, you're paying the ULEZ, which could be £24 if you put them both together. The scheme came into force in April 2019, but early offenders who failed to pay charges before May 11th were issued with warning notices rather than um, penalty notices. Between then and August 31st, Transport for London figures obtained by car selling comparison website motorway.co.uk showed that 223,952 penalty charge notices were handed out. Can you imagine? I mean, they're making more than this and bloody speeding, aren't they? Almost 32,000 drivers received more than one penalty ticket in that time, while the worst offender has amassed a massive 81 penalty charge notices in that time. For that driver, such a rate of offending could mean the total cost of fines is approaching £13,000. I'd like to know who that guy is. He's going to freak out. Ultra low emission zone, ULEZ warning sign in central London. Alex Buttle, director of car selling comparison website motorway.co.uk, said something had to be done with London facing a public health crisis. He said the electric car switchover can't come quick enough. Yeah, he's a car dealer. But until it does, ULEZ shows there is a genuine commitment to tackle London's toxic air. And that commitment is proven successful. Yeah, that's a bit of, that's biased information, that is, if ever I heard it. Any anyway, while ULEZ was not about generating money for counselling, yeah, right, it's nevertheless brought in more than 40 million in charges and penalty notices in the six months since it was launched. Schemes like ULEZ 
should always be about the health and well-being of people living in major urban areas. About the health and well-being. Can you imagine that man who's going to get £13,000 bill? He's going to be stressed. Is that is that conducive to his health and well-being? I don't think so. Although pollution levels are still unacceptably high in the capital, the success of ULEZ proves that similar clean air zones can and should be urgently rolled out across the country. Yeah, because it's soon going to go outside. They're going to do it in stages. So now you've got central London. Um, in 2020, I think as of April, they're going to do the whole of London. And then uh, from, I think, 2021 to 2023, they're going to roll it out through the whole country. So if you haven't got a certain age car, which a lot of people can't afford. I know the um, the D, DWP have a sc scrappage scheme for people on the dole, or should I say people um, collecting benefits, which is the polit politically correct word. Um, they're going to have a scrappage scheme. So they'll take their old car, and I think they give them 2000 towards a new car, but 2000 ain't going to get a 2016 car, is it? Well, you never know. I think I think that's a diesel. So if they want petrol, they might get a petrol. Um, 2009 petrol for two grand. They may. I don't know. Anyway, they give it. They've got the scrapping scheme. So if you are on the dole watching this, talk to them about it. If your car is old, because you do not want to get caught up. I mean, April is only what four months, five months away. So you don't want to get caught up in when it starts rolling out in the whole of London. Um, Helen Chapman, TLF's Director of Licensing, Regulation and Charging, said since its, since its introduction in April this year, the ultra-low emission zone has been hugely successful with 13,000 fewer older polluting vehicles entering the zone each day. There's also been a big fall in roadside air pollution with harmful nitrogen dioxide reduced by a third within the scheme's boundaries. A high proportion of vehicles in the zone are meeting the tough emission standards with 77% being compliant. The high levels of compliance has been achieved by an extensive public information campaign and ensuring the charge is properly enforced. That's what I mean. I haven't seen a big public campaign. Why haven't they got big posters out on the streets? Why isn't it on all newspapers? Front page news. It should be. The introduction of the ULEZ is not about making money, but about improving the health and well-being of thousands of Londoners. Any money received from the ULEZ is reinvested in walking, cycling and public transport. Public transport, they're charging an arm and a leg for. Try getting a train from London to, I mean, unless you're an old pensioner and you can get one of those special, whatever you want to call it, oyster cards. It's expensive to travel on public transport. Anyway, that's me having my little rant. That's all for now. Like, subscribe and share. Bye.